What's something that you can eat every single day and not get tired of? And I'm not talking about something that you eat sometimes that you just love. Like I'm talking about something that you're disgustingly obsessed with and that you could actually eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and never get sick of and never want anything else to eat except for this exact item. I want to see videos of you eating this food. I want to see pick. Jumping back on the banana bread trend for 100 days of baked oats, day 31. Hit that like and follow and let's get straight into the recipe. Mix half a mashed banana, your oats, protein powder, baking powder and water or plant milk together until smooth. Fold in a handful of chocolate chips and pour into your baking dish. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes at 180C or 350F. Enjoy! Okay, this is a bold statement, but I think I found the best low-calorie, high-protein baked oats recipe. This will sell to caramel and chocolate, but it can be so versatile, so feel free to put your own little twist on it. First up, add 30 grams of oats and 10 grams of cocoa powder into a blender. Next up, add 20 grams of salted caramel protein powder. I use a Diet PhD one. Next up, about 150 ml of almond milk and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Then you're going to want to blend it up until it's a smooth consistency, pour it into your oven proof dish, sprinkle on some sea salt and cook for around 30 minutes. Whilst it's cooking, get 50 grams of 0% fat Greek yogurt and mix with caramel flavouring. I used a zero calorie flavouring. Then whack it on top of your baked oats. Then you're going to want to melt five grams of dark chocolate, drizzle it on top. If you want extra chocolate, I just use a low calorie chocolate sauce and that's it. Enjoy! Guys, hey, I'm back. We're gonna make baked oats because they turned out so well the first time. I'm real excited. Why do I never know how much to put in? Honestly, I'm obsessed with these baked oats. Bean soda? Oh. oh my god. Okay, I guess we're leaving it there then. This is like the fastest thing you could like make in your life. <laughs> This is like the best part because you get to put like all the toppings on it. I'm gonna do like, oh my God, I really want to lick it. That's going to be so good. Okay, so I'm putting some frozen strawberries. And we have blueberries. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love my life. I'm just going to top it with some walnuts. Oh my god, you guys, it's so cute. I get way too excited about food. It looks so perfect. It's insane. I actually feel like air fryers should be illegal because this is like too good for breakfast. Look at how cute that is. It's like a little baby. <laughs> I felt like I should have put cinnamon in it. And now I'm upset because I didn't put cinnamon in it. I just love this almond butter. Like it's so good. Oh my god. Best creation I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Did I just do a circle in my fucking kitchen? <laughs> this is the most perfect thing I've ever made in my life. Honestly, guys, we have to try this. I have to, like, real get in there because I want some fruit. Honestly. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. So good. It's so good. I, I love it. Just because we can't go camping right now, doesn't mean we can't have s'mores for breakfast. To our bowl we have oat flour, some baking powder, sweetener, a flax egg, and dairy-free milk. And then we're going to whisk that together just to make sure everything is combined. Next we add some chocolate chips, make sure to save a few for that topping, and stir that together really well. And pour the batter into an oil sprayed bowl. I like to make sure that things don't stick. Now for the fun stuff. We're going to add marshmallows. And then we're going to grab the rest of those chocolate chips. And bake this at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. And it's s'mores time. This will be your new favorite weekday breakfast. Want two cups of rolled oats. A scoop of protein powder teaspoon of baking powder and then some cinnamon. I like a lot. For our wet ingredients, use two ripe bananas. I've just mashed it all up. A tablespoon of vanilla essence, two tablespoons of maple syrup. Add about a quarter cup of smooth peanut butter. I like the Mavis. One and a half cups of almond milk. Perfect. Now we're just adding the wet ingredients to the dry. To lined a square tin and we're just pouring it in. Now we're just going to bake this at 190 degrees fan forced for 35 minutes. Just come out of the oven. 
Once it's cooled, transfer to a cutting board. I cut into six pieces and each bar has 240 calories and about 10 grams of protein. So I top with some Greek yogurt, raspberries and honey. Um, and they keep really well in the fridge as well. Enjoy. I think that I've created the perfect baked oats recipe after comparing like every single recipe on the internet. And I was going to gatekeep it, but I can't take the bad karma. So today we're making it. We have half cup of oats, third cup of milk, one egg, and half of a banana. My perfect amount of sweetness is like a tablespoon and a half, but I just kind of like let it overflow. <laughs> half teaspoon of baking soda and vanilla. Cinnamon, little pinch of salt, preferably from this cute mushroom shaker. And then we blend. I don't really know how long I actually usually blend this, but you'll know when it's ready. Then you're gonna take probably the world's cutest ramekin and fill her up. You can use whatever toppings that you want, but I'm in a chocolate mood, so we're gonna do chocolate chunk. Chunks are better than chips, by the way. I like to throw some down so it gets to the bottom. You want it in every bite. I mean, look at that. Wow. 350, 28 minutes. Never fails me. As a shock to no one, it's perfect. Ooh, yep. You're gonna try and tell me that that is not the perfect bite? All right, y'all. It is time for me to make these baked oats that everyone always talks about, and they look so good. So first up, we're gonna set the oven to 350. To a blender cup, add one banana. And we add one egg. One fourth cup milk, one tablespoon pure maple syrup, half a cup of oats, one scoop vanilla protein powder, one teaspoon baking powder, blend it all up, pour into a small greased baking dish. I'm also topping with some chopped walnuts. JK, these are pecans. <laughs> and then a few chocolate chips as well. Now we bake in the oven for 20 minutes. It is done! Here is the final product. I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna try it. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, that looks good. If you love cinnamon rolls, you're gonna love these protein baked oats. So to make them, you wanna add some oats, protein powder, zero cal sweetener, baking powder, a pinch of salt, Greek yogurt, an egg, and some cinnamon to a blender. Then blend all that up until it combines. Add the batter to a mug, pour in a little zero cal brown sugar mixed with some melted light butter, stir that into the batter and bake for around 15 minutes. Now for the glaze, just add some zero cal sweetener and milk to a bowl, give that a stir, and then pipe that onto the baked oats when they're done cooking. And yeah. If you and your family love oatmeal, you're going to love this easy recipe. It tastes like dessert and it's so good for you. You're going to need two eggs, almond milk, maple syrup, applesauce, and vanilla. Whisk the wet ingredients together. For the dry ingredients, you need oats, cinnamon, baking powder, salt, nuts, and chocolate chips. Mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and mix well. Pour the oatmeal into a baking pan and bake for 40 minutes. This has protein, fiber, healthy fats, and it's perfect for those busy mornings. Follow for more easy, healthy recipes. All right, y'all, here is the perfect baked oats recipe with lots of protein and no banana. And this makes two servings. You're going to want to start with three-fourths a cup of oats. And then a whole scoop of vanilla protein powder, or you can use any flavor you want. Then you're going to take three-fourths a cup of milk. And then you're going to use a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. And then a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Lastly, I'm gonna take two spoonfuls of calorie-free stevia just to sweeten this up. Didn't mean to say lastly, we're also gonna add a little bit of salt and then a little bit of cinnamon. And then you're gonna blend it up. Once it's blended, it should look like this. And you're gonna wanna spray your ramekins with coconut oil spray. And then you're just gonna split them evenly. And then it's up to you what chocolate you want to use on the top. I'm gonna use Hershey's because I just find that it's like a lower kind of calorie one. Or you can use like white chocolate chips. But with um, what I have listed, as the macros, I'm gonna be using one of these for each. And then I'm gonna use a few white chocolate chips just because I feel like the melted chocolate really adds to the flavor. Try to push them down in it also so that it's not just on the top. And this is what they look like before going into the oven. Set your oven to 350 for 25 minutes. And I just took them out. Let's do a taste test. This smells so good. 
Mm. Remember the viral baked oats? I'm bringing them back for pumpkin season. Just blend four ingredients together. Pumpkin pie mix, oats, baking powder, and eggs. Spray two ramekins and transfer the blended oats mixture into the ramekins. Now add some chocolate chips if you'd like and bake at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Just these four ingredients create a cake-like texture that you can totally have for breakfast. So good. It's like eating chocolate cake. No, but seriously, this baked oats recipe truly does taste like you're eating a chocolate cake. Although a nutrient-dense chocolate cake because it has oats, cacao powder, date syrup, etc. So if you're someone who has a major sweet tooth in the morning, like me, you have to give this recipe a try. That is top five. This viral cookie baked oatmeal is worth all the hype. Look at that consistency. It tastes like one of those cookie skillets that you order at a restaurant. You will understand once you make it. Oh, milk, a spotty banana. Baking soda, sea salt, almost forgot the egg. And now we blend. Pour the batter in a little oven safe dish, top with some chocolate chips, go ahead and bake that at 350 for about 15 minutes. Mine made two servings, top with some more sea salt and enjoy. I promise you it is so good.